What is up guys? Goose here. Coming back at you video where we're going over the uh, Houston Astros Chicago White Sox game that was last night. A game which the White Sox won 9 to 4. Uh it was a, it was wasn't a good pitching performance by uh, Garrett Cole as he went 5 innings, gave up 7 hits, 6 runs. All uh, and they all were earned. One hit but he struck out 7. Um the game started off good for the White Sox. They took a 2-0 lead after the fourth inning with uh, Jimenez homered in the second and Abreu homered in the fourth. It was 2-0 going to the bottom of the fourth inning. But that's when the Astros took the lead momentarily as they scored three runs in that inning as uh, Bregman homered and then Correa doubled and then Diaz hit a sacrifice fly and it stayed that way to the sixth inning. And that's when Garrett Cole ran into some problems. He gave up he gave up a leadoff double and that just, it just snowballed from there. Uh, Mancata singled to right to make it 3-3, and then McCann doubled deep to left field to make it 4-3, and then Tilson hit a grand slam home run to make it 8-3, and that was really all she wrote. Uh, both teams traded a run after that, but um, it was just after the sixth inning, the game was over. I mean, just the White Sox just came out to play better. They hit the ball better, and they, of course, pitched the ball better. Uh, for the For the Astros... Uh, wasn't much hit. They 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 did get 12 hits. They did hit the ball. They did hit the ball well. They just could not get timely hitting. Uh, as uh, I guess I should have said that they were they ground into like two double two double plays, a triple play. So it just was not a good hitting game. When I say hitting game, which they they couldn't get the timely hit. Yes, the hit they got 12 hits, but when it came to get the timely hit, they just could not get it done. Uh, Reddick was one for four. Bregman was two for three with a home run. Brantley was one for four. Correa was two for four. Diaz is one for three. White was one for four. Kemp was one for three. Chenaros was two for three. And Marizic was one for four. So everybody got a hit in the lineup. Just they could not get that timely hit. That's why I say they couldn't hit the ball. Because they just couldn't hit the ball when it, when it mattered the most. Uh, as Marizic actually grounded into, I think he grounded into two double plays and a triple play. Um... Uh, man, so man, just they were one for seven and with runners in scoring position. So they really just not they could not hit the ball timely. But hopefully that changes tonight. Uh, but they are going to be a, facing a very very tough pitcher for the White Sox. The uh, the White Sox is going to go with their ace of the staff. So uh, and the Astros are going with Corbin Martin. He's making he's making making his third start of the year. He's one and zero with a three point eight six ERA. And uh, for the uh, White Sox, it's going to be uh, Geloto. I guess that's how you say his name. He's 5-1 and one with a 3.35 ERA. He's by far their best pitcher. So the Astros, it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be very imperative that they hit the ball timely tonight. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully that happens. Hopefully they win because if the Astros win, they win the series 3 out of 4. If the White Sox win, it'll be 2-2. So we'll see what happens. As always, thanks for watching, and I will chat with you guys later.